Hi, I'm Chad from Ultimate Automotive. For over 19 years, we've been building relationships on a foundation of stability and trust. Looking out for our customers because you are our family. Upfront pricing and great service. That's what you can expect from us with convenient east and west side locations. Developing this morning, first responders are at Sioux Falls Regional Airport for a plane that's gone off the runway. Plus, a passenger dies in a Lincoln County rollover this weekend. This morning, we have details of charges expected to be filed in that crash. Good morning. This is Kelloland on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your Sunday. First, let's check in with meteorologist Adam Root in the Storm Center. Good morning, Adam. Good morning, Perry, and good morning, everybody. After a rather active evening yesterday, we're getting a break this morning. But then round two comes around later in the afternoon. For now, though, it's a good start to the day in Harrisburg. 79 with a south wind at 15 miles per hour and plenty of sunshine. But it is already very warm. East River, not to mention very humid. We already have an 81 degree reading in Sioux Falls. 80 in Yankton. 79 not too far off the pace in Mitchell. Valentine is 78, 72 in Pier. Near 80 already in Aberdeen. And 62 in Rapid City. If you think that's warm, wait until later today as temperatures soar into the 90s with that southerly breeze only helping to bring in more warmth and more moisture. But it's also going to keep things a little on the unstable side. We find ourselves in between a departing warm front and an approaching cold front, which is a rather unstable air mass. The end result is going to be the chance for showers and thunderstorms firing up later today, some of which, in a similar manner to Saturday, may be strong to severe. We'll talk about that plus what to expect afterward coming up. All right, thank you very much, Adam. Well, first responders have been at Sioux Falls Regional Airport for a report of a plane that went off the runway. The call came in just after 5 o'clock this morning. Kelloland's Lauren Solick was at the scene earlier this morning. She told us that planes were still taking off from the airport as those emergency crews worked the scene. Now, right now, we don't know what type of aircraft was involved and if there are injuries. Stay with Kelloland News on air and online for updates. Another developing story we're following this morning. South Dakota authorities are investigating a deadly weekend rollover in Lincoln County. It happened around 7 o'clock last night on a gravel road one mile south of T. Investigators say the driver of a pickup lost control and went into a ditch. A passenger died at the scene. The driver and another passenger have minor injuries. The Lincoln County Sheriff's Department says the crash was alcohol-related and that charges are pending. The South Dakota Highway Patrol is investigating. A 13-year-old boy has died in an apparent drowning in northwest Iowa. The Plymouth County Sheriff's Department says the boy was swimming with a friend on a platform in the middle of a pond in Lamar's Saturday afternoon when he went under. A search team using sonar responded to the scene. They located the boy in about 15 feet of water. He was pronounced dead at the hospital. Well, even though tax revenue from South Dakota State Tourism has declined because of COVID-19, state parks and campgrounds are seeing an increase in business. Many people have been going camping or heading out to the lakes to get outside while staying safe. Lewis and Clark Recreational Area in uh, near Yankton saw record highs in both April and May for visitation and camping numbers. One thing we filled up for the weekend after Memorial Day, we typically never fill up that weekend and we were plumb full. We're seeing a lot more use during the week, a lot more day use, and a lot of people just want to get out and use the park. It's not just South Dakotans visiting state parks. Visitors also include people from Nebraska, Iowa, and Minnesota. And the Gamefish Parks Department is seeing an increase in visitors at the public beaches within those state parks. With some public pools closing, it gives people access to the water for some outdoor fun. The beach does have rules as far as we don't allow dogs or fishing or, or boats, um, you know, glass bottles. We don't allow any of that on the beaches. But... Other than our standard regulations, we don't have anything extra for COVID other than just follow the CDC guidelines. All beaches inside state parks still require park primer, permits for entrance. A popular Sioux Falls summer attraction is making a big investment in it, its future. Crews are nearing completion of an indoor, $6 million indoor facility at Thunder Road. The building should be ready to open next month and will include activities from bowling to laser tag and a 3D movie theater. The goal is to turn Thunder Road into a year-round attraction. I'll show you how the pandemic presented some roadblocks for Thunder Road in tonight's Eye on Kelloland at 10. Well, another season of Sangria Sundays begin today at Straw Bale Winery in Renner. Bring a, a picnic lunch and enjoy live music by Benny Bassett from 1 to 4. 
Admission is $5 a person or $10 a carload. No pets or outside beverages. Adam? So far, we're just dealing with a few showers in eastern parts of Kelloland from Watertown, extending south and west into Huron, Chamberlain, and Mitchell, just east of Tripp County in winter as well. But as we head later into the day, that's not going to be the case as we keep an eye on another round of strong to severe thunderstorms, especially along and north of I-90 and through central and northeastern Kelloland, where we have an enhanced risk for severe weather, a slight risk from Watertown to Huron in the winter, and again, north of I-90 and western Kelloland as well. We have a marginal risk that goes from Marshall to Madison and just about clips Sioux Falls in Minnehaha County. All modes of severe weather are on the table again just like yesterday, including large hail, damaging wind gusts, heavy rain, and even an isolated tornado or two as well. So be sure to stay weather aware again, especially later in the day. The morning and the first half of the afternoon you should be good to go, albeit it is going to be hot and humid. Keep that in mind as well. But later in the evening, there is that threat for showers and thunderstorms that races through the area to the north and east. We then get a break from about midnight onward into Monday morning in the early part of the afternoon. But third verse, same as the first. The afternoon and evening features another chance for showers and thunderstorms, this time around in eastern and southeastern Kelloland as a cold front stalls in place and keeps the threat for thunderstorms and heavy rain in place through early Tuesday morning. So on top of the threat for gusty winds, we also have a flooding concern for Tuesday in eastern parts of Kelloland. There's the severe weather outlook for Monday into Monday night. It's a slight risk, level 2 out of 5, going from Marshall to Yankton into Mitchell and Watertown with a marginal risk and going a little bit further to the north and west. Today, though, on top of the fact that we're keeping an eye on the chance for showers and thunderstorms of a strong to severe variety, it is going to be downright hot and humid with highs in the mid to upper 90s along and east of the Missouri River with a very strong southerly wind in place. Rapid City in the mid to upper 80s, still pretty breezy. 52 in Rapid City for a low temperature tonight with a chance for showers and thunderstorms. Same goes for Pier and Aberdeen, but they're in the 60s, mid 70s though for Sioux Falls. Now, eastern and southeastern Kelloland may be able to stay completely dry today beyond a very isolated thunderstorm trying to pop up and crash the party just with the amount of heat and humidity in place. Speaking of which, we stay hot and humid in Aberdeen and Sioux falls on Monday, but changes on the way out west as we do have cooler air, which will crash the party Tuesday into the second half of the week. But thankfully, once we hit Wednesday going into the first half of next weekend, we do stay dry and seasonable by day and by night. Well, thank you for joining us for Kelloland on the go. You can get up to the minute developments right here on Kelloland.com. Have a great day.